Dr. Colden, this Nein, man's condition is deteriorating. Bei Call of Cthulhu. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing Cold. we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. <lacht> das Schöne ist wie... <lacht> Ich, ich finde das schön, dass die Charaktere in den Rollen bleiben oder so dargestellt werden. Der Kapitän zum Beispiel, der immer auf der See ist und immer nach draußen guckt, geht natürlich auch nicht außer Haus ohne sein Fernglas und seine ganze Uniform und geht auch so direkt ins Krankenhaus. <lacht> so wie niedlich. Äh, was haben wir denn? What can you tell me about him? He was highly agitated an hour ago. We were about to tie him down when he fell asleep. Ten minutes ago, he curled up into a fetal position. I thought he was waking up, but no. What are his symptoms? His temperature has been going down, his skin losing its color, his body rigid. I closed his eyes myself. They were glassing over. I didn't want them to dry out, and I couldn't bear to look at the expression on his face. You did well. Don't worry. Let's stay professional, if you will. <laughs> I don't recognize him. Did he just arrive on the island? He said he worked on the docks, but not with Captain Fitzroy. I think he works for Ms. Baker. Who? You know, the woman at the <laughs> head of their gang. They call her Cat. She can teach. Oh, I see. Do you have other questions? Plague, okay. Show me his file. That... That's not possible. Don't tell me Dr. Fuller has taken this file as well. We need it. That's why I called you. This man's ailment has been hidden from us. Come on now. What was he treated for? An intoxication, I was told. After inhaling chemicals. That'll do for the time Should being. Be okay. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? Did you inject him with a tranquilizer? No, doctor. Not me, not anyone. Our stock is empty yet again. Again? But there was enough for the whole island. <laughs> more and more people are suffering from insomnia. We can't refuse to help. Of Think course. Clown flesh, Any finden. idea what this man might be undergoing? Very well. I'll examine him. Haben wir hier irgendwas? Ne, Pierce wird übersprungen. Wir können also direkt. So, wir können mehrere Sachen. Medizin Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. So His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. Guck dir mal die Füße an, ja. Ist das eine Art... Slightly sticky? Okay, ich hätte sonst Versteinerung so eine Art gesagt, aber wenn sie sagt, bitte klebrig, ist ja was anderes. 30-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palupral tissue. Lord, this smell. So, doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Er hat etwas in im Bauch. Der Zustand seiner Klitoris besorgniserregend ist stark dehydriert. Wir haben drei Sachen freigeschaltet. Er hat etwas im Bauch. Was? Das ist erstmal ähm, Klitoris. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, 
If there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? <laughs> it's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? <laughs> I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. Ich muss zugeben, es sah jetzt ein bisschen anders aus, äh, wenn wir ihn jetzt so angeschaut haben, ja. Weil ich hatte jetzt eher gedacht, also ersten Blick, wenn man ihn anschaut, dass er eher verkrümmt und irgendwie zu was Steinischen wird. Aber wenn natürlich jetzt immer mehr die Gespräche so hingehen, dass er immer weicher wird und er irgendwie solche Kringe kriegt, na dann kriegt er, was wohl? Tentakel. Knochenlos. Und Saugnäpfe. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. <laughs> okay, that's But that doesn't explain his condition. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry. That the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. Das war der Schatten von Dr. Fuller. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? <laughs> what I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients, provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? Hier sind Finger übrigens gerade durch seine Jacke durch. Das sind Thomas in Besuchserregend. Ich habe sowas noch nie gesehen. Sie machen ein Monster aus ihnen. Symptome erstmal. Das sind alarming Symptome. If we don't act, he'll die. Do you believe that? I'm not as convinced, you see. I even think this man has a strong chance of completely healing from his ailments. No, Doctor. This patient isn't himself anymore. He's dying. Really? What do you mean by isn't himself? He's changing. His physical characteristics, they are more animal than human now. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. <laughs> this amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Was that a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. 
Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Die Akten. Naja. Oh, that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I need to find the missing medical files. And where would you find those? In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. So, jetzt gucken wir uns mal genauer das an, weil irgendwie sah ich das jetzt nicht im ersten Moment so krass, wie sie es beschrieben hat. Aber ja, da sind, da sind schon irgendwelche Rundenstellen, das stimmt. Kann man leider sehr schlecht anschauen. Gut, wie ist denn das jetzt eigentlich mit allem, was wir... An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. Wenn wir hier was finden, es kommt es auch uns zugute. Sind wir hier nur stiller Teilhaber sozusagen und eine andere Person, nämlich der gute Doktor oder ähm, kann man da ein bisschen was steuern? This place draws you in and never lets you go. 1924. Okay, wir können uns ja relativ viel umgucken. An den etwas schöneren Orten. Nicht dort unten. Hören Sie ruhig. Chronic Insomnia. Like half the island. So. Info no, Spiel. you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan? Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Klingt, das können wir was Dr. Colden? Kleine Nebenkammer. Medizinbuch. Ich lese die ganze Medizinbuch nicht vor, weil irgendwie... Noch ein Medizinbuch, noch ein Medizinbuch. Das war für uns jetzt nicht so ertragreich. So, wen haben wir denn hier? Watch out for the water, Doctor. Die Küche. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Ich finde es aber interessant, dass wir aus der anderen Perspektive es mal machen. Von der Person, die sich jetzt auch umgucken darf und das schon. Sieht ja na, na reich lecker aus. Fallout, Leute. <lacht> Blau und gelb. Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I'm sorry. Dr. Fuller is a very busy man. Well, is there anyone else who can tell us what's going on? She's our only family, you know. And we can't even see her medical file. Don't worry. I'm aware our institution is not always welcoming, but your mother is in good hands. I'll tend to her myself, and keep you informed at once. Would that suit you? Well, that sure sounds great to us, Doctor. Thank you. But those are just words, so we're not budging. Very well. At least I'll know where to find you. Okay, also kann ich jetzt sogar hier einen kleinen netten Dienst vollziehen, dem ich mal versuche da diese gute Dame zu finden. So, wir gehen jetzt mal den ganzen Block B durch, würde ich sagen. Hawking Swing. Generous Donor and Unfailing Support. Okay. Hier ist die Eingangshalle. Ach, guck mal, wer da sitzt. Unser lieber Freund. Okay, wir gehen hier mal durch. Was haben wir denn alles? Das Bett ist leer. Bücher... Pläne. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. 
This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. Guckt mal an, was der an den Arm hat übrigens, an den Händen. His binds left bloody wounds. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. Mm. White froth, evidently because of such drooling. So, doctor, what should we do with this patient? Those basement brutes tied him up too tight and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? So take care of this man. Okay, das war jetzt ganz schön gemein. Vor allem Take Care sollte sie nicht dann wirklich caretaken und den nicht einfach normal liegen lassen. Nur so als Info. Okay, hier ist auch gerade keiner. Den haben wir hier. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Ist das seine Augen? Moment mal, was ist denn da? Ist das seine Augäpfel? Guckt euch mal das an. Das sieht irgendwie ein bisschen eklig aus. Okay. Sei das heißt drum. Was haben wir hier in der Mitte? Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Dämpfer eingeatmet, okay. I, die Füße. Guckt euch mal die Füße an. Das sieht wirklich nicht gut aus. So. Dr. Colden? Was haben wir hier? Arzneimittel, Schränke. Wir nicht viel rausnehmen können. Also sieht es draußen ganz schön aus, muss ich sagen. Also, Testlöcher sein können. So, hier haben wir ein paar Schlüssel. What is the boiler room key doing here? The key to the boiler room. Okay. Not where I expected to find it. Na, dann nimm The key to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. Na gut. Dann nimm dir später mit, wenn du meinst, dass er wichtig wird. Okay, was haben wir noch hier Feines? Die Dame, vielleicht ah, ist die. So there's Harding. She's still sleeping. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Das ist doch jetzt eigentlich vollkommen ausreichend. Können wir da nicht hingehen und sagen, wir haben es gefunden? Das hier. Why did nobody tell me about her admission? Irene Sanders Krankenakte. In der Akte wird der Zustand beschrieben, in dem Irene Sanders ins Riverside Institute eingeliefert wurde, sowie die verabreichten Behand äh, verabreichten Behandlung. Doch Fuller fügte handschriftlich eine Notiz hinzu. Er empfiehlt sie in die psychiatrischen <lacht> Flüge zu verlegen, um ihr die Ruhe und Erholung zu geben, die sie benötigt. Bestimmt. Mrs. Sanders? Okay, die ist auch nicht mehr so ansprechbar. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? The one that hides the smuggling business. Oh, no, not them. They don't go on that side of the island. Everyone in his place. The captain on one side, Cat on the other, and me. Well, I've been to the whaling station, I have. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. I'll just sleep. Er liegt genauso da wie alle anderen, die hier 
Schlaf. Das Insomnia. Schlaf in Please. My chest. Oh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Nurse? Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. So sind wir nicht eine nette Ärztin, die hier Menschen rettet. Die so kleine Kamin hat. Dr. Colden? Okay. Was haben wir hier noch? Auch einen, der nicht so gut aussieht. Hey, Fever. What's he doing here? Vor allem die Gesichter so verhärmt. Na gut, auf der Insel. Okay, wir können den Jungs ja was sagen jetzt. So, Doctor, have you been able to examine our mother? Pardon me, but could you remind me what her case is? We're waiting on news regarding our... She came in with a kidney... I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering. But you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. Okay, wir haben ein Achievement gekriegt. Hippokratischer Eid. So. Ich weiß auch nicht... Welche von diesen ganzen Räumen? Also hier ist die. Die Antwort muss in Fullers Office verborgen sein. Jeder sagt es. Sie ist eine Witch, eine alte Hag. Ich habe das nicht gemacht. Und ich bin der, der bezahlt. Was eine Pest. Es ist so unfair. 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 Wahrscheinlich, um sie zu waschen dann und so. Hallo? Elizabeth? You all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Wir wissen noch, wo der Schlüssel ist. Wir können also genauso gut. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Wir finden das. Das Bild hängt. Ist das okay, dass dieser Umkleider... Was ist das für ein Raum? Umkleiderraum? zu großen Fenstern ist, dass ihr da reinschaut. Hm, seltsam. Okay, diesen Plan haben wir auch schon zigmal gesehen. Wir wissen ja, wo der Schlüssel ist. Okay, können wir uns dann also holen. Ich muss mal ein bisschen gucken, was mir alles machen kann. Okay, wir haben einen zig Stellen Zugang. Physik, Phase runterwerfen? Nein. Ähm, schreib... Ich muss sagen, das sieht hier ja eher aus wie so eine Detektei. <lacht> Anstatt irgendwie im Krankenhaus. Vor allem ein riesiger Raum. Ich hoffe, wir kriegen damit ein paar mehr Punkte. 
Oh, schon wieder diese Schränke. Das sagt mir irgendwann, dass vielleicht muss ich hier mal vor jemanden weglaufen. Vielleicht kommt aber unser guter 